Hi, fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's movie time. What's playing, Dan? We're watching Black Dynamite. This one came heavily uh, requested. It did. Not too long ago there, and I had no idea this existed. So I'm actually really <laughs> interested to see how this goes. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. It's the only more liquor that carries the seal of excellence from Uncle Sam himself. And when really? you pop the top, the pen is dropped. <laughs> Anaconda Malt Liquor, brewed in Piedmont, Georgia. Ooh. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Gentlemen, one of us here is not who he appears to be. Oh, we got a cop in the mix. Come on, you jive turkeys. I gotta get back to the streets where I come from. He sounds fake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Do you know whose brother... This skitter's gonna be turned upside down. Veritable one man army. If you get on his bad side, <laughs> no matter where he is, get ready, gentlemen, because hell's a coming. 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 <laughs> Down to my baby. Nipsey still ain't paid up. I'm looking for Nipsey. There's no Nipsey here. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's a heck of a kick. He got money. Honey B, what's happening, baby? Black Dynamite. Thank you, Black Dynamite. Just <laughs> a tear. <laughs> it's my little nephew, Bucky. He od Oh, no. It's that new drug on the street. All the kids are falling prey to it. What we gonna do, Black Dynamite? I'm gonna fight. You can see the mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just realized that's Michael J. White. <laughs> Is? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sal, huh? Who the hell is this? Black Dynamite? It's your Aunt Billy. It's your only brother, Jimmy. <laughs> He's dead, Dynamite. Even your auntie calls you Black Dynamite? Whoever did this is gonna pay. Well, I hope it ain't like when you promised your mom you was gonna get you off of that stuff. Can't even hang, hang up, up the, the damn phone. Black <laughs> Dynamite promise me he doesn't end up on drugs. I promise. Her name's the kid Black Dynamite. <laughs> you couldn't save him this time. Dig what I found. Now this is some heavy shit. Looks a little too big for what they were shooting at him. I was gonna say, they were using pistols, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Freeze turkeys! Look at that cannon. <laughs> oh, Larry? The old pie in the windowsill trick. That was the same trap you used at Nam to save my ass. I remember everything. <laughs> Not another Not flashback. Please, no. This one child I'll never forget. Charred from his head down to his little Chinese knee. Chinese? <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought you said you're in Vietnam. He looked up at me. <laughs> he said something to me in Chinese. <laughs> what was that? Sounds like some cartoon shit. <laughs> <laughs> we heard about your brother's death. The last thing we need is you running through the streets creating a river of blood. You tell me who did it, I'll just leave a little puddle. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. When you left the agency, you relinquished your license to kill. Well, you do what you have to. Just don't get in my way. There's vengeance to be had. Oh, yeah. That man's done everything, though. <laughs> Fucking Vietnam and CIA. <laughs> now he's a pimp. <laughs> man, who dare knock when I'm planning to plant my... <laughs> <laughs> I need to know about the kind of cats that Jimmy was running with. You know, he came around here about a week ago with some cats that I had never seen before. These cats look mean. Meaner than two fat motherfuckers wrestling over pork chops and greens. <laughs> <laughs> That's an odd metaphor. That little old half a play of cream corn was with him. Where's cream corn these days? <laughs> cream corn. Any buffet? <laughs> Let a nigga mess with me. I'll jump on him. All 93 pounds of pure dynamite! This would it he's what I expect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. That sucks. 
How's this chase still going on? They're side by side right now. <laughs> I want to know who the cats were that Jimmy was hanging with. Man, I don't know nothing from nothing. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Their leader's name is Chicago Wind. They hang out at a place called the, the Hip Pocket. The sh <laughs> Chicago Wind. <laughs> Chicago wind, I presume. Your presumption is correct. But if you presume that I killed your brother Jimmy, then you presume wrong. Get your black ass off my joint before we beat you like a rented mule. Mm, I hope you try. That's right, nigga. Don't ever, ever come. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Well, they went out the hard way. Oh, he's really having fun with this. Oh, shit. <laughs> he brought the nunchucks. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> Go get Chicago wind before he disappears. I'll take care of this gorilla eating goon here. <laughs> she slapped him. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> they did a retake. <laughs> Try to catch me now, sucker. So old school. Why don't you ever, ever? <laughs> How the hell did that happen? He took his eyes off the road. He killed my best dealer. I want black dynamite dead. Okay, De Niro. <laughs> Find out if they're going to rid our communities of the hustlers. These fine folks don't need to be misled. All the want is a little bit of bread. You're saying nothing. He's really not. We got to take this from the jukebox to the ballot box. That's such a smart thing to put in here. How these guys just bullshit their way to a victory. You address none of her concerns whatsoever. Yeah. Shame is half these people don't know what the hell y'all talking about. At least they can put his to a beat. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's about it. You one of these Tom Slick brothers think you can get by on good looks a wink and a smile, huh? What about the smile? I am smiling. <laughs> Excuse me, brothers. How'd you get in here? I walked in. Yeah. <laughs> Black dynamite. Yeah, it's been a long time, my brother. Yeah, it seems more like it. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about this? <laughs> I ain't seen one of these in a while. It's a bullet casing, <laughs> goddammit! it! There it is. AR-48. That brown to go through a bulletproof vest like it was a pillow. It's strictly government issue. Hmm. Where's O'Leary? You mind telling me how this was found at the scene of my brother's death? Keep making such a huge deal. <laughs> Your brother Jimmy wasn't a two-bit drug dealer. He was working undercover, and he wanted to be just like you. Jimmy, why didn't you tell me? Because he was undercover. <laughs> I just have one question. Are you in or are you out? I'm in. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Hope you don't mind. I took the liberty of reinstating your license to kill. Perfect timing. Wow. Somebody, Somebody broke into my dead brother Jimmy's apartment. Somebody broke into Jimmy's bed. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Take a shot? He had to have taken several, <laughs> right? Breathe deeply, baby. Oh, Daddy. Damn. <laughs> what the? Told you urine sample, Nurse Jenny. <laughs> hey, man, you sent her in here with them titties. What you expect? <laughs> <laughs> you hang in there, Leon. You hear me? Hey, Mama, what's going down? That your kid in there? He happens to be one of the kids at the orphanage where I work. He overdosed on smack. Uh. Took away his drug awareness programs and allowed his bedfellows to sell crap to the kids. It's even in the orphanage. It's in the orphanage? <laughs> <laughs> I used to be an orphan. Oh, no. You ain't got no mommy and you ain't got no daddy. You're an orphan. <laughs> orphan! <laughs> <laughs> He's an angry child, wasn't he? The worst thing about these pushers is that these children are orphans. And orphans don't have parents. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh, no. Right there in the middle of the room. You doing, brother? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. I need sake. my smack. I need it now. <laughs> They're all addicts. I would shake this poisonous shit out of your little smacked up body if I had to. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? 
Chili and donuts. Okay. Roscoe's chili and donuts. Can I get some hot sauce for my donut? For my donut. <laughs> <laughs> Donuts don't wear alligator shoes. What? Better put the car in park, idiot. <laughs> That's a perfect headshot. Right. Sorry, Roscoe. Chili and donuts ain't working out for me no how. Maybe it's time for a change. What could he possibly change to, Joe? Maybe something to do with breakfast. Maybe. She gonna be safe up in here. I've been keeping the girls up on their kung fu like you told me to. We will fricassee they hunky ass. <laughs> Dynamite, are you sure about this? Maybe we should just call the police. You could bet your sweet ass and half a titty whoever put that hit out on you already got the cops in their back pocket. <laughs> Don't worry about tomorrow, mama, because tonight... Dynamite's going to make everything all right. Oh. Euphoria, shut the fuck up. I know that was you. I ain't even got a look. <laughs> send your ass back to Crenshaw P with his hot ass coat hangers, bitch. Would you like that? Jeez. Well, that was. Get some angry issues there, Black Down. Like, wow. Oh my God, what is this pimp hang out here? <laughs> Pimping been around since the world started turning. Bullshit. <laughs> we need to collect your size. Yeah. All in favor, raise your hand. Cortex? Oh, bitches. What? Chocolate giddy up. Chocolate giddy up. Captain Kangaroo Pimp. <laughs> Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of y'all, but it looked like I'm going to have to keep selling that heroin just to make ends meet. Then you'll have a much bigger problem. Oh. I'm declaring war on anybody who sells drugs in our community. But Black Dynamite, I sell drugs to the community. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do whatever I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the choice is yours, brother. But if me and my people catch you, you're gonna have a lot more to deal with. Well, one of them's gonna survive. There might be fewer pimps at the next meeting. There might be. Yeah. I want to help you. Your brother Jimmy saved my life. I was supposed to be with him the night he got killed, but he called me and told me to stay at home. He knew some shit was going down. So he tried to have his brother killed? Bullhorn. Cream Corn here says he can help us find the cats we're looking for. They put that in the papers? <laughs> <laughs> Man's got a serious rep. <laughs> God, they're really taking it to the streets here. Jeez. An actual street fight. He set him loose. <laughs> Giant magnet. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's the same one from earlier. Wait, man, so threat's been dealt with? I guess so. Okay. <laughs> He's still laughing. They got the ledger. Names, dates, schedules. Man, they won't be able to take a shit without us knowing when or what color. <laughs> oh, my. Damn. Smack wiped off. Entry, entry. Light down my cleaned up screen. Wow. It's, it's unbelievable. This place got nice. It took no time. I'm Gloria, and this is Black Dynamite. My mama said my daddy's name is Black Dynamite. Uh-oh. So oh. did my mama. <laughs> A lot of cats have that name. It's <laughs> <laughs> an awkward date. Oh, would you expect anything less, though? No. I think you'll be safe if you stay here tonight. I hope you don't think that you're going to get any of this cookie. Now, you can hit the sheets of the streets. It don't make me no never mind. You can go or you could come, can you dig it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, baby, baby. <laughs> nice lighting. <laughs> oh. oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, oh, gosh. Oh. Well, she's up into a lot of things, isn't she? <laughs> All the rhymes, I man. <laughs> man, y'all tearing this town up. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> man, these guys are efficient. All right, Snowflake. Where's the dope? Nah, they're gonna kill me anyway. I'm not gonna tell you nothing. Oh. Ouch. 
Operation Code Kansas. Can't stop it. Too late. <laughs> wow, really? Just the nigga. Just the nigga. Yeah, you're being a little too truthful. <laughs> I think you gave him too much of that shit. How long till it wears off? <laughs> <laughs> Malt liquor? Some anaconda? Anaconda malt liquor. Supposed to give you. <laughs> We're on mission, dude. Tastes good, too. <laughs> I know the drugs are here somewhere. I'm sure it's in the liquor. I'm gonna go home and drink the rest of this, man. Y'all should have grabbed some of this shit. This shit is incredible. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on. Put it's two in, and two together. Yeah, it's in liquid form. Come on. Cold Kansas. It just don't make no damn sense. Hey, uh, sweet day. Bitch, do you see us? I can get you a waffle. All we got is the chicken from last night. Chicken and waffles? That's it. <laughs> we all still got his idea. Yeah, very good. <laughs> These buttery motherfuckers are melting your mouth, man. You said melt in your mouth. Uh-huh. What else melts in your mouth? m and Mars Candy Company make it. Yeah. Mars is also the Roman god of war. Okay. You take Mars and spell it backwards. Ram! <gasps> the zodiological sign for Aries. What's going on here? What kind of rabbit hole is this? It was created by the Greeks in 785 BC. They know the history, I'll tell them. <laughs> 785 is the area code to Topeka, Kansas. <laughs> spell it backwards, drop the S. Snake doctor, yeah! Anaconda. And what, brothers, is the biggest snake in the world? The South America Anaconda. <laughs> Anaconda malt liquor. Anaconda malt liquor gives you. Woo! Jesus. And who else is famous for? Woo! Little Richard. Anaconda malt liquor gives you. Little, little Richard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gives you a little dick. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh! Oh, come on. <laughs> Should we kill him? Put him out of his misery. <laughs> <laughs> Brothers, make these hunkers load this dick shrinking poison back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Larry? That's right. I knew he was in on it. I should have known it was you. You diabolical dick shrinking motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I gave the order on Jimmy. I gave it to James, who gave it to the Dawn. Oh no. What good's it gonna do you now? <gasps> <gasps> oh, really? <laughs> Fate and injury. What the hell is that? <laughs> the old birthday candle trick for now. <laughs> <laughs> what the f? <laughs> oh, Larry, where are you? Yeah, who's this? And proclamate on your ass. <laughs> we going on a boat ride. To Kung Fu Island. Kung Fu, Kung Fu Island. Island. <laughs> What a well done movie. <laughs> oh, here's the plan. Ridiculous. <laughs> God damn it, Bullhorn. <laughs> Good shot. Where are these cameras coming from? I don't know. You know, when we get back home, I'm retired from the revolution. I start a family. Well, he's gonna die. Because Jesus. Who saw that come? Who saw where that came from? <laughs> <laughs> I saw that come. Oh, oh no. Oh. Everyone's gonna die. He <laughs> looks pretty good, I gotta say. Yeah. I should have known you'd be behind this fiendish Dr. Wu. Man, I'll take this job ass turkey. Oh, no! <laughs> God dang. Oh, wow. The whole head. <laughs> 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 Fiendish Dr. Wu, you done fucked up now! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Get them all! Show them how it's done. Jeez. Lord. Some violent kicks. Black dynamite pamper fist. Oh my god. 
<laughs> All right, one point to Black Dynamite. Yep. <laughs> I saw that coming. What the fuck? Keep your eye on Black Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for me? <laughs> yeah, how'd you get there? Where I'm coming from, you jive, motherfucker! Why did you? Oh! Ew. You oh my told him God. to keep an eye out for me. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, that worked out nicely. Do that shit before I walked in the room! <laughs> <laughs> What's this green one? Made the penis shriveled to the size of a two month old snapping turtle. Oh no. Suddenly, I'd like to leave your island. Suddenly, I'd like to leave your island. <laughs> All right there, Jim Kelly. Yeah. All the Into the Dragon references. Yeah. <laughs> Did you light the guy on fire? Jesus. Dirty motherfucker. Just the whole head. <laughs> hey, Black Dynamite! I found a helicopter! What's in the briefcase, Black Dynamite? How far does this all go, man? Cream corn, this goes all the way to the top. <clears throat> all the way to the White House. Oh, hey, hey, man! What? Yeah, they're ready for you. <laughs> Oops. Green corn! No! <laughs> I think he was smiling when I he said that. I think so. <laughs> He's got another one. <laughs> Who needs a parachute? <laughs> Has this place not swarming with Secret Service? Probably killed him. Oh, never mind. Shame on you, Secret Service. I should have known it was you all the time. Were those doors? Yes, they were. So cruel. To serve smack to the orphanage. Put out a drug to shrink black men's dicks. <laughs> Only one man. And that's you, Tricky Dick. <laughs> it was Richard Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> Presidential nunchucks. Oh. Now it's on. This is gonna be interesting. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, Nixon, tone it down a little bit. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Take your filthy black hands off the presidential dinnerware. You just shot some of that. Damn. <laughs> Not all the presidents of China. Yes, all of it. Come on, you could have seen that 10 minutes ago. <laughs> they kept that in there? It's horrible. Now, Black Dynamite. The ghost of Abraham Lincoln. Good job, Lincoln. Man, that couldn't have come at a better time. You think by shrinking our Johnsons are gonna make your situation any better? You are paranoid. But ease. You lost it all. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now, unless you want the rest of this freaky shit to hit the news, I suggest you take good care of me and my people. Can you dig it? <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm sorry I pimp slapped you into that china cabinet. I feel like I betrayed my own code of ethics. And for that, sugar, I apologize. Ah, way to be the better man. Oh, that dynamite. You're so righteous. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that dynamite. She's just there? Okay. Yeah, how'd she get in? Because wherever there's injustice, Innocence to be defended. <laughs> and I will not hesitate to lay the hammer down on any clown that comes around. Because I'm Black Dynamite. Yes, he is. Nice. Oh my uh, god. Fantastic. Yeah, it was. So, how you doing, that little midget girl you set up? Hey, she keep coming up short. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's called the Mo Bitches Variety Pack. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I sent out a big hoe, a little hoe, a skinny hoe, and one Navajo. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to see that cow killed. They just want their steak on a plate. Can you dig it? Truer words were never, ever spoken. You let me a good steak. Good evening, gentlemen. Let that in my <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, such a good movie. This one really hit me out of nowhere. Right. I learned two things today. Okay. One, donuts don't wear alligator shoes. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> and two, orphans don't have parents. Oh my. <laughs> I, I learned something today too. Okay. Anaconda gives you little richard mm. mm -hmm. this ladies and gentlemen is why you shouldn't drink beer even as we sit here drinking but jesus christ <laughs> the way they came up with that was a thing of beauty going down like an entire greek lineage there oh yeah all to arrive to the point that anaconda gives you little dick <laughs> like first of all how is it that everybody in this restaurant knows their greek and roman mythology like that and then secondly yeah how do you get from point a to point b there because there's a lot in between that damn near took me out yeah he just kept asking questions and they just happened to know all the answers it's the most ridiculous connection i've ever seen in a film yeah <laughs> but it worked <laughs> they found the source my uh, favorite part of that movie though was that freaking orphanage scene though oh yeah <laughs> i'm gonna <laughs> shake the smack out of you <laughs> His damn flashbacks killed me. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, that orphan flashback. He threw those kids through the window. <laughs> and Vietnam one, too. He's talking about that poor little Chinese kid. kid. <laughs> he was supposed to be Vietnamese. Well, he's talking about him being crisped from the top to the bottom. Yeah, he looks fine. He looked just fine. <laughs> we caught a few references there, though, I think. We did catch one, at least one, from uh, from Enter the Dragon there. There's actually two. I think um, there's one where we say that I want to leave your island, but also when they arrived at the island, he said you have extraordinary ability. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the nunchucks might also be part of it. Yeah, too, yeah, I'm sure yeah. it is too. So it was like exploitative, but it was also martial arts. So You're Very referential. I wonder what other references are in there too we didn't notice. I don't know. One thing I really liked about this film was how it had that old black exploitation look to it. It's fantastic. Yeah. The acting was a little bit stiff, a little bit stiffer than you'd actually see in one of those movies if you ever watched them. You see, but... but I think it's part of the appeal of this, too, is that they're, they're so fake about it that it's hilarious. I know. I didn't expect this level of comedy from Michael J. White. No. But my God, he, he did that damn role. <laughs> good for good on him. And he had the moves. I give him that, too. He really did. I'll tell you what, though. When you're talking about how grainy the movie looked, it's as to kind of look like an old black exploitative movie. Mm -hmm. I wish they would do stuff like that more often, though, in movies. Kind of like, like what they did with the Grindhouse yeah. movies, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, make it grainy. Because it like, gives it something extra. It makes it feel like old school again. So. Yeah. Well, at the very least, you know, don't be afraid to incorporate some of those ideas. Because... You know, a lot of film, you know, they're so CGI'd up, CGI'd up these days, it's just not that interesting anymore. Like, have that something actually unique by having that old school effect to it. Yeah, this was this was fantastic. Yeah. It was funny as hell. Uh, it really came out of nowhere how funny it, how funny it was. Oh, and the music constantly referencing was going on. Yeah. It was incredibly well put together, well written. And they were being serious. Yeah. That's how you know it's, com it's comedic, is when you're actually being serious about it all the time. Somebody's been in Jimmy's apartment. Yes, thank you. We can see that. <laughs> Bam, thank you for recommending this movie. I'm glad we watched it. Yeah. Because even if there were other films that this was referencing that we didn't get, mm -hmm. I still got a kick out of this. It's still enjoyable nonetheless. Oh, oh yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm sure it did reference other things. It could have it could have just as easily been rep re uh, referencing Dolomite. Why not? Because that was they were killer pimps too. So Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Let us know, fam. What did we miss that we probably should have got? Please, tell us, yeah. This guy got girls like there was no tomorrow. This guy's better than James Bond. He's up in, he's up in that doctor's office. He's like, who do you expect you put the minions in front of me? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Line. The guy can't turn it off. He didn't do it. He doesn't do anything, man. He's just kind of being himself, you know? And it's weird because most of the time he's like the most serious guy. And then like every once in a while you see him just go go like off script and he's just yelling at people. Or yeah, he's... Michael J. White, this is a tailor-made role for him. Yeah, he was great. I usually don't say that about his movies. I've seen other movies he was in. Mm -hmm. He was Because I remember him as Spawn. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember he was in the, I guess, The Dark Knight. He was like one of the guys the Joker killed, one of the uh, gangster guys. Mm. They like 
some of the Joker's thugs brought what they were playing as uh, the Joker being dead in a body bag yeah. to his place. And he's like, you know how I got these scars? I got them for the first time. That was him. So, okay. Yeah. I didn't realize that was him. Yeah. yeah I remember doing Spawn because I don't think it's like his most famous role, right? I think so. It's yeah. certainly the one I think of when I think of Michael J. White. Yeah. He's been in some other things. I just don't think they were as famous as people would like them to be. So. Yeah. I know. He, he was perfect. Yeah, he really was. You couldn't ask for a better choice. No. I thought I recognized people, but I guess I was wrong. Like, I thought I thought the one guy playing cream corn was Cat Williams. It wasn't, so... Yeah, I thought something was a little bit off there. I seen there I probably should have caught, but I didn't realize it until we saw the credits. No, I thought that was, that was funny, though. Yeah. Arsenio all being in this, too. Yeah, I just love that whole little room of pimps. <laughs> it was fantastic. That's the most ridiculous names, too. Captain Kangaroo. Yeah. <laughs> it was random as hell. Yeah. <laughs> that one right there. <laughs> Great choice, guys. Give us more. Please do. But I think that's where we're going to end this, guys. As always, if you're brand new to this channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing to help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there, guys. And should you want to support this channel any further, consider becoming a member by, by hitting that join button. It's not required and certainly not recommended, but we would love to have you guys anyway. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys. Bye.